What's up guys? This is Matt. And in this video, we're going to be doing the longest, most dastardly dungeon in all of Vanilla WoW. We're going to be doing Dire Mall Capital Gardens. For those of you who don't know, Capital Gardens is a festival of running. An absolute festival. So, if nobody in the group happens to mess it up and we can do everything right, then I will show you guys how we can get through the entire dungeon and um, you know how to do all the quests and everything else. I, I say that the group has to do it right because there are several ways that this dungeon can go a bit wrong. Um, and uh, the first one is that these quest givers right here are neutral. So if anybody clicks any kind of ability next to them, they will aggro and start to kill you. So don't do that. Um, I've had that happen where people pull these tree patrols right next to them and then kill the quest givers, and that's not a fun day. Now, all of these trees that are not killed that patrol around will come on the first boss if you haven't killed them. So it is in your best interest to kill the trees. Note to self. I'm going to tell the group I have done this one lots over the years if you guys need a guide. Smiley face. Hopefully non-threatening. Got trees. And we killed the trees. Okay, we're good to go. So where he came is this pylon right here, or whatever you call this thing. You gotta kill all the mobs by these pylons. We're gonna have to kill a whole bunch of those mobs. Pull back my camera here and get a little better view because we got a lot of big mobs in this one, guys. So, your quest in here, the first thing you want to do is go kill this tree boss if you can get him. Yeah, you can come back and kill him later if you want, like this group is, but that's fine. So, we'll roll over here. Don't need to kill this pack. Do need to clear these guys on the way to a boss. Now I want you guys to look over in this corner, past these mobs, over there where my pointer is, because sometimes there's a rare spawn over there. Not up right now, but look for them when you go past. So you can get the extra XP and the extra blue item. Mr. Rex going on, Mr. Tank. Okay, patrol right here. Now, this first boss that's over there is Magister Calendris. Magister Calendris, guys, charms people. Usually about three times per fight. Um... If you're a ranged class, keep your distance. Be less likely that he's going to pick you and poke you. And so that's why I'm trying to stay far away. It doesn't give you guys the best view, but it's working all right. So that's pretty much all he does. That is it. any kind of a big deal anyway, is he just charms. So... If he charms, you just tell the group charmed. He dominated Cheesy, who's the healer. No big deal. We got him down to execute range. Easy day. Loot him, scoot him, and boot him. All right, now we're going to head up if the group goes the right way. All right, appear to go the right way. So we're going to head up, clear out a couple more pylons. You want to go up the stairs here, and we are going to turn and turn and 
clear these two mobs and then clear the mobs by the pylon. These guys, these mana remnants. I'm not going to try to remember how many total are in the. Let me think. One down below, two up here, and then two in the deep below. So I think there's five total of these that you got to clear off, guys. And the quest, um, you'll see you've got a boss that's up here that we're going to kill, the boss down below that we skipped that we got to go back to. And then um, the Shendalar Ancient is over here on the map, if that shows up, so you guys can see it. She's over there. We're going to go that way anyway. You'll see it. This is a fun poll, just a bunch of non-elite skellies to practice your AoE capabilities. Okay. We are heading back to the middle. Okay, talk to her. Get both quests turned in. Okay, again, head over to the group. These guys, let's do it to it. Once you clear this pylon of dudes, we're going to head over and we're going to fight the very patrolling Farah along with... I'm trying to mouse over you, big bear. Ileana Ravenock. So. Okay. Now, for this fight, she aggros from super far away. She casts traps. I always kill the bear first. Is there any reason for that? No. I just do it because I don't like to get mauled by bears. You can kill either one of them first. I always just notice that she takes a long time to kill, so I figured you must download the bear first so all the damage can go to her and it's not split as much. And the bear seems to go down quite a bit faster. So we're going to clear fair of the bear out here, guys. Just going to get close enough to get a nice screeny. Then we'll back off again. You guys see she's using volley because apparently NPCs can have it and we cannot anymore. Um, never mind. Okay, so clear. Got the tank down to about 30%. Go away, bear. Okay. Now it should be easier on the old tankaroonie. Because he's just got one boss to tank. So now you can scoot across the top over there, but there's no reason to. You should drop down. Are they listening? Yes. They didn't have to pull these mobs. This dude's in a Yeti suit. This guy should be pulled. If you don't pull him, you gotta fight him on the tank. On the boss? Okay. All right, Mr. Yeti suit. You were warned. So this is the boss that's supposed to be the first boss, Tendris Warpwood. Okay, Tendris. Get off of the stairs back there, guys. Do not stand on the stairs. It's a bad deal for you. Okay? Don't stand on the stairs because he's going to call all the ads that we did not kill down to help him. 
There they come. One, hopefully there's only one. Sometimes the groups just run right through and then per splat, there's usually the healer or the softies, as I like to call them, the clothies, that are on the, sta the stairs and they just die from a couple of hits from the elite because they don't know what's coming and they get rooted. So don't do that. Let's not do that. All right, and dead, and clear the ad. Loot. Open, okay, head through. Okay, clear out the trash. Okay, clear and off. Got a little level up there. Okay, we cleared this out. Now, this guy won't won't listen. I'm guessing this tank. But what I tell him is, if you kill Torthaldrin first, we get bonus XP on the last boss. Let's see. Oh, they're doing it without me telling them. I'm just going to be quiet. It didn't even happen. I didn't even say it. So what we're doing right now, as you guys will see, there's a bonus objective down here, Prince Thordeldrin. And the thing about him is that, first of all, if you're the tank, heads up, he hits super hard. Um, second of all, um, he's yellow, so you have to manually attack him. Come on, petty pet pet. You are going slow as molasses. Where is my pet? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, I am dismissing. I don't know where in the world you are, but you're certainly not helping me with this fight. There we go. If you kill Torthelden first, you get the bonus um, experience on the last boss. So, great that this tank knew that. Props to him. So Prince Torthaldrin, um, especially a super fun to tank on a warrior because um, he knocks you back and it's just far enough. Ooh, I got it. I got the stone shadow. I'll show you guys why that's so cool in a second. Look at this bad boy. You ready? You ready? Boom. Tiniest crossbow in the game. Look at that. Woo -hoo! Okay. So, so ridiculous. Um... If you're on a gnome, imagine how small that is. So anyway, um, kill him first before you kill um, Imolthar, the last boss, guys. Then you're going to head over.
waiting for the group. There goes the group. Okay. Now, the reason I say this is a long dungeon doesn't look long so far, right? It's moving right along. Now, um, the reason for that, guys, is that um, we're going to have to do a pretty epic run back. If you're classed with a speed increase, this will be much more enjoyable than if you're not. Um, so what happens is you kill Imothar. Then you actually um, port out of the dungeon, port back in. And then you have to run back through the dungeon to turn in all the quests. You turn some quests in at the beginning, but you guys will see what I mean, but I'll show you the order of how this has to go. Basically, we have to go back upstairs to that Shindelar Ancient, turn that in, drop back down to where we killed Talendris, go back down to where we killed Torfeldrin, and loot the chest, and then that's the last quest. So it's like, oof, it's a lot. And when I'm doing it on my Fury Warrior, it was not enjoyable. To run all that at base speed. No, thank you very much. Okay. Now we're going to head over. We're going to get... Oh, we aggroed another one. There we go. Yeah, you're probably just gonna drag it to the main boss. Yep, let's go. Here he is, Emilthar. Let's get him. Wolfie bite. He's a big old boss. So he's going to get all these little eyes out and ads out. You can just ignore all of it. Just burst them down, guys. Nothing too special. Let's get a view of this majestic pup. What happens if they both want the same piece of food? It goes to the same stomach. Boom! Loot and a 48 for me. Okay, now port out. Bump a dum, bum, 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 bum. Port in. Okay, now when I tell you to get there before the rest of your group, I mean it because I literally had somebody before stomp a tree in aggro this dude and. I was not happy. Turn in. Turn in. Okay. See, I like half the group already left because they don't know. So, we're going to get some speed on it here as much as we can to make this go as fast as possible for you guys. But this little five minutes at the end is an ad. This is actually one of the dungeons that made me realize I was not destined for Fury Warrior. I was like, this and, and uh, Red Paladin are both super enjoyable classes, but I hate the slowness with a passion. Hunter is just fast enough for me. Like, it's this or Demon Hunter or, um, or Druid for me, basically, because I just can't stand... After almost 15 years of playing this game, I just can't stand slow classes anymore. I don't know when you get into PvP and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't matter, or where you can mount up in higher levels, it doesn't matter, but just... For my gen I run a lot of old content, and for my general enjoyment. So we came all the way back up here. There's the ancient guys. Um, I just don't don't enjoy having to go slow when I go through old content, especially since there's a lot of running involved. Talk to her. Get the new quest. Okay, right here. 
drop down guys, you kind of hit like a magical barrier if you land up there on the stairs. But we didn't. So what we're going to do is you can see the quest turn in over there, the treasure of the Chandelar. And if it's the first time that you'll do this, you'll get like three or four, I forget, um, transmog things thrown into your... Um, um, into your, um, oh God, what is it called? Your uh, collections. Yes, the Feral Druid. He's fast enough that I can wait and help him because he's trying to figure it out. Down to where Tor Feldrin was. Under the stairs by him. Okay, so we helped out the feral. We're gonna go right here. Click, click. Boom, you're done. That's it, guys. So, 2106 on the Dire Mall Capital Gardens. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide. I enjoyed spending the time with you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon, and uh, that'll notify you when I drop a future video. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Till we meet again.